Welcome to the Jersey Score. Today, we are ranking all of the Big Ten teams based on their football uniforms. And this is the fifth installment of this series. We've already gone and uh, ranked the other four Power Five conferences. And, and if you haven't seen those, after watching this video, go check those out. Here is the playlist. You can watch each of those. But before you do, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel because we're going to keep coming out with these. We're going to do some of the other uh, G5 conferences. And then also as uh, realignment continues to shift and conferences change, we're going to go back and update some of these lists. So a couple ground rules. As we mentioned with realignment, we're ranking the conference as it's uh, currently constituted. So we are not including USC or UCLA. Also, because teams have so many different uh, alternates, we are really focused on their primary home and away uniforms. So without any further ado, let's get to it. At number 14, we have last and definitely least Purdue. Now these things don't have much going for them. They're boring and I don't know what that design is on their shoulder pads. And you could say, you know, but look at their color scheme. They really don't have a lot to work with, which is seems true. But if you look at Vanderbilt, who recently went through a rebrand, and look at how fresh these are. I mean, they have a similar color scheme, but these uniforms have really come together and look really slick. So Purdue certainly could follow Vanderbilt's example. At number 13, we have Rutgers. Now, they certainly aren't ugly like Purdue's. They're just boring. Yes, they're clean, which we generally like, but we were disappointed when we saw these because we felt like it wasn't that long ago that they changed to these uniforms, which we really liked. It has a, a classic look, but the numbering kind of gave it a new updated kind of feel, but most likely these were too similar to some of the other teams in the conference. It's just that the current look is just a bit uninspired. At number 12, we have Minnesota. Now these ones are disappointing because it always feels like they are so close to really nailing this look, but they're always off by just a little bit. It's little things like the collar or the numbers. And with their logo and their color scheme, it really feels that like a more traditional throwback type uniform would really fit their aesthetic. So I really wish that they would move in that direction. At number 11, we have Illinois. And with a really bold color scheme, it was really smart of them to go with a very minimalistic look to allow those bold colors to pop without being too cluttered with too much going on on their uniform. So along those lines, we would say make the numbers probably a little bit smaller, not take up so much space. And then also, if you've watched any of our other videos, get rid of that thick collar that Nike likes to do. You see it on the white uniforms. And so other than that, these things are really clean and we like the way they come together. At number 10, we have Iowa. Now we're already to the point where the rest of the looks from here on out are really solid and we have to get very nitpicky. Now we love this look, but it's basically just the Pittsburgh Steelers. So we, we hit Duke for basically ripping off the, the Colts. And while we love the Steelers, Hawkeyes, get your own look. At number nine, we have Ohio State. Now, it may seem a little off to have the Buckeyes this low on our list, but I grew up in Michigan, so I'd say it's pretty impressive that we don't have them dead last. What I will say is, while we're not generally a fan of the stickers on the helmet, Ohio State's probably the one school that can get away with it. It seems like a, a, an iconic part of their look. At number eight, we have Indiana. Now these aren't the flashiest uniforms, but basketball blue bloods often have a hard time translating their basketball look into a quality look on the football field. But something that Indiana has done here, and it's really subtle, is on the shoulder pads and on the knees, they have these very subtle stripe pattern, which uh, it's gotta be a call to the candy cane stripe pants that they wear. And so I like that they, they incorporate that, but do it in a really subtle way. And that's not always easy. If we look at Kentucky, another basketball blue blood, they really wanted to incorporate that checker pattern on their shoulder pads, and it just doesn't really translate as well on the football uniform. So you've got to give Indiana props for finding a way to incorporate that look onto their uniform in such a subtle way. At number seven, we have Michigan State. 
and we really love this look. Between having one of the best logos in all of college athletics and on their helmet, that stripe, how it goes uh, wide and, and thinner as it goes back, resembling the top of the Spartan helmet, makes this one of the best helmets in college football. And they pretty much own this color scheme, which we really like. And their uniforms are overall really clean, which makes it all the more confounding that they have the weird stripe on their pants. If they would just go for a solid stripe or really just plain white pants, these things would skyrocket up the list. At number six, we have Northwestern. Now, who says that you can't be nerdy and stylish? We always love us some purple uniforms, and these ones do not disappoint. We also liked their previous uniforms with those stripes across the chest. It gave it kind of this uh, old-timey kind of look, but we think that moving it to the shoulder was the, uh, the right move. At the fourth and fifth spots, we have a near tie between two very similar looks of Nebraska and Wisconsin. Now, Nebraska was always a powerhouse and had this really iconic look, so I had always assumed that Wisconsin had ripped them off and mimicked their look to, to come up with theirs. But I went back and looked at some old photos of Wisconsin football from the 80s and 70s, and this current look looks very similar to those. So now that I've been disabused of the copycat theory, I can come in and look at these two side by side and, and really decide which one I think is better. And now it's close. A lot of people think the N on Nebraska is, is boring, but I like that classic look. I like the W in Wisconsin too. I don't know if I love the drop shadow, but all in all, putting these side by side, which is the only way I could really decide, I think Wisconsin edges out Nebraska. So we have Nebraska at five and Wisconsin at number four. Despite this player flashing fours, we've got Maryland coming in at number three. Now, finally, the Terps give us these throwback-ish uniforms. And we all know that Maryland is Under Armour's version of Oregon, and they like to throw out all sorts of zany looks and really get crazy with it. And I'm sure kids love it and they use it as a recruiting tool. But any of those looks would have landed Maryland in the cellar on this list down there with Purdue. But we really love these. They did an excellent job of blending throwback with fresh. At number two, we have Penn State possibly the cleanest look in all of college football. They don't even do nameplates. And the inventors of the whiteout uniform. Okay, I don't know that, but I think they do it as well as anybody. And when their stadium is the whiteout and everyone shows up in white, that looks like one of the cooler atmospheres in all of college football. I just really love these. At number one, we have the Michigan Wolverines. And yes, while I grew up near Ann Arbor and am a Michigan fan, I believe that this is legitimately one of the best looks in all of college football. Like Penn State, the look is really clean, but I love the, the maize and blue combination together. They have the winged helmet, and for a while they did have the way uniforms with the yellow piping, and, and it was a bit weird, and I was not a big fan of that. So ever since they've gone back to the traditional stripes on their aways, this is a look that can't be beat. And because I'm a homer, as I showed with my Michigan pick, I always like to see where my alma mater, BYU, would stack up in a given conference. And I think that they'd be up there, not, not with Michigan, but right up there with those other teams at the top of the conference. So here's a quick recap of our rankings. And as we said at the top of the video, a lot of really good, solid looks here, almost from top to bottom. So what do you think of our rankings? Let us know in the comments and give us your full list of, of ranking of the whole Big Ten. That's right, we want the whole list down there. And if you haven't already, go check out our other conference ranking videos and like the video and subscribe to the channel so you can see as we continue to post other conference rankings out there. And we will see you on the flip side.